chances are that if you've ever shopped for a power supply, you have seen the words 80 plus somewhere. Whether it's 80 plus, 80 plus silver, 80 plus bronze, 80 plus gold, 80 plus platinum, 80 plus titanium, it's usually referring to how efficient power supply is. Well, understanding how efficient power supply is, what efficiency matters, where efficiency doesn't matter, that's what we're gonna talk about today. To start off, the role of a power supply is to supply power to your computer. That's fairly obvious, but what's more important is that it has to convert the 120 or 220 volt uh, that's coming out of a socket on your wall, for example, to the three voltages that are used primarily by the computer, the 3.3 volt, the 5 volt, and the 12 volt. Out of these three, the 12 volt rail is the most important one because that is what your motherboard, your CPU, and your graphics card will need. And those are the most power hungry components inside a computer. So when you buy a power supply, it's very important to have enough wattage on the 12 volt rail and not have too much wattage on, for example, the three or the five volt rail and not enough on the 12 volt rail. Generally speaking, most power supplies will have enough wattage on the 12 volt rail, but some cheaper power supplies may not. During this conversion process of from 120 volts to 3.3 to 5 to 12 volts, a lot of the power is lost due to inefficiency. Whenever you're converting voltages, you tend to lose a bit of the power. And how efficient power supplies are at converting the voltage is uh, marked in the rating. You can have 80 plus rating, 80 plus bronze rating, 80 plus silver rating, 80 plus gold rating, 80 plus platinum rating, and 80 plus titanium rating. Each of these denote how efficient a power supply is at converting wall power to what is supplied by the power supply itself. 80 plus means that it's 80% efficient. 80 plus bronze means that it is 85% efficient. 80 plus silver means that it's 88% efficient. 80 plus gold means it's 90% efficient. 80 plus platinum means 92% efficient. And 80 plus titanium means that it's 95% efficient. Now these efficiency ratings are based on covering from 120 volts and are under conditions which the power supply is under 50% load. If it's under 100% load, the efficiency will drop a bit. If it's under about 20% uh, load, the efficiency will also drop. If it's converting from 220 volts, the efficiency will actually increase a bit. Uh, but generally speaking, the ratings are based on this. Now, to quickly clear up a common misconception about power supply efficiency is that a power supply's wattage is independent of its efficiency. So if a power supply is rated for 500 watts, regardless of how efficient it is, it will no matter what provide that 500 watts. It does not, for example, if it's 80% efficient, will only provide 400 watts even though it's rated for 500 watts. It will still provide 500 watts, it just means that it will draw more power from the wall in order to provide the 500 watts. So what are the benefits of having a higher efficiency power supply compared to a lower one? Well, first of all, is that you're using less power overall. Because it's more efficient, it needs to pull less power to supply the same amount of wattage to your computer, which means that your electric bill is going to be lower at the end of the day. Even if something as little as like a dollar a month, it adds up over time to something like $12 a year and over a lifetime of power supply, which can easily be five to 10 years, you could be saving 50 to $100, which can offset the cost of paying for a higher efficiency power supply. The second, the less talked about benefit is that it creates less heat. That's right, more efficient power supplies create less heat. So what causes a power supply to create heat? Well, it actually boils down to the laws of thermodynamics itself. The laws of thermodynamics states that power cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be transferred from one form to another. So if you're pulling 600 watts, for example, from the wall and only supplying 500 watts to your computer, that extra 100 watts of energy cannot be destroyed. It has to go somewhere. And what happens is it gets converted to heat or is lost as heat. And that heat needs to be dissipated by the power supply because the components such as capacitors in the power supply can only operate at room temperatures or maybe slightly higher such as 40 or 50 degrees. They cannot operate at temperatures that your CPU or your GPU normally operates at 80 or 100 degrees. So a more heat a power supply creates means that it needs to spin up its fans faster to dissipate the heat and it'll create more noise, which is why higher efficient power supplies are usually more quiet and are usually cooler. For example, an 80 plus rated power supply that's 80% efficient creates 
twice as much heat for the same wattage as an 80 plus gold power supply that's 90% efficient. Because although it's only 10% more efficient, the inefficiency of the 80 plus power supply, which is 20%, is cut in half by the 80 plus gold power supply, which is only 10% inefficient. So the heat generated by a power supply is directly proportional to the inefficiency of a power supply. If by some chance you had a perfectly efficient power supply, you wouldn't even need a fan on it because it would create no heat at all because it would lose none of the electricity that it's pulling from the wall. Obviously, it's not a realistic situation, but something to think about. Something else to think about is this means that if you have a higher wattage power supply, in order to function just as well as a lower wattage power supply, it needs to be very, very efficient because a 500 watt power supply that's rated for say 80 plus bronze would create just as much heat as a 750 watt power supply that, that needs to be rated for 80 plus gold. So as you go higher up the wattages, power supplies need to be rated for higher and higher efficiencies in order to function at the same temperatures as lower wattage power supplies. And that's actually the trend you'll see as you go, as you increase the wattage, you'll see that most, uh, say, a thousand watt power supplies are 80 plus gold or 80 plus platinum. And over than that, you'll actually see power supplies being rated for 80 plus titanium, not because they choose to, but more so they have to in order to function because a 1500 watt power supply needs to be 95% efficient in order to function just as well as a 500 watt power supply that's 85% efficient. Interestingly, this means that if you're gonna cheap out on a power supply, which you shouldn't do in the first place, it's actually a lot more dangerous to buy a cheap power supply that has a very high wattage than a cheap power supply that has a low wattage. Because a cheap power supply at a high wattage that's gonna be inefficient is gonna create a lot more heat than a low wattage power supply that's just as inefficient. And it's more likely to create enough heat to overheat itself and cause capacitors to fail, resulting in explosive situations. Now, just a general rule of thumb of how efficient power supplies you should get. I would say for 500 watts or higher, get A plus bronze. For 750 watts or higher, get A plus gold. For 1000 watts or higher, get 80 plus platinum. And for anything over uh, 1500 watts or 1200 watts, get 80 plus titanium because by that point, you're not really gonna pay extra because most 1200 watt power supplies are already rated for 80 plus titanium anyways. So hopefully this video helped you understand a little bit more about power supply efficiency, what it's important for and what it's not important for. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for future uploads. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.